Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to Final Gear and today let's discuss on piloting instruction novice package that is gonna cost 2500 crystals which I think is an amazing deal even for the free to play player just like me because recently we actually managed to get 1650 crystals for free as compensation rewards right and well rest of the crystals we can easily farm them uh, through the event and the story contents clearance and so much more so no problem at all uh, and this package right over here is really amazing because it can provide us an option to pick one out of six custom mech suits that are designed for six different SSR pilot characters in this game, which is pretty good, isn't it? Custom mech suits not only boost the stats of your characters drastically, they also dramatically improve the skill and abilities of your character. So it is so good indeed. So you should be trying to get your hands on this right away as much as possible okay so that's say now the main question is which particular costume mech suit are you really supposed to get from these six options made available right over here and well the answer is simply battle sphere according to so many veteran players battle sphere is the best because it is the costume mech suit for ssr character known as snowy yes battle sphere for snowy snowy is ssr character that can actually deal a lot of damage to the opponents and can be a really great help to the beginners out there because not only can not only that she can deal a lot of damage to the opponents she can also provide a lot of supporting buff effects to all the allies like every 15 seconds she can provide a 10 second buff to all the allies in the team that is pretty random in effect okay like she can randomly provide like damage boosting buffs like a critical damage boost or damage boost itself or something like that or crit boost as well and uh, most essentially she can actually provide the buff called life stealing effect like 1.2 percent meaning like whenever you deal damage to the opponents you are actually going to be recovering your health in the due process more the damage that you are going to be dealing to the opponents more the healing that you are going to be receiving which is going to be a really great help for your overall team sustenance life stealing effect or let's say the vampire effect is so sold out uh, effect in almost every rpg gacha games out there because of its ability to sustain your team so good out there in the battlefield and one additional thing that she's also known for is that she can actually provide an effect of ignoring defense to a highest attack stat ally in the team whenever like that particular ally is dealing damage to the opponents for about like I think 15 seconds which is so good indeed being able to completely ignore the defense of the opponents for a total duration of like 15 seconds my god bring it on so this character right over here is not only a great DPS unit but also a very amazing support unit yes in the near future definitely in the DPS tier list she might fall down but when it comes to the support unit tier list she is always gonna be topped as uh, like she's always gonna be placed as one of the top ranking pilot characters out there so you can totally feel like you know comfortable and you can totally invest on this battle sphere right over here because it is good even for the future ahead so battle sphere is the best okay now that said most of the players might actually get tempted to pick Messi Ula because like well this Messi Ula is the custom mix suit for VR8 yeah Pretty good, right? Viewer 8 and uh, is an amazing SSR unit that is recommended for the uh, beginners out there. And she actually kind of really looks like a very amazing waifu unit out there compared to the Snowy. Snowy is kind of lowly character, and Viewer 8 is an amazing waifu character with those huge assets. So, yes, people would really want to go for the Viewer 8 as well. But, well, are we really supposed to go for the Missy Ola, even though Viewer 8 is an amazing SSR character? And the answer is simply no. Why? Because later on in the game, you will be able to farm for the Messi Ula for free from the game <laughs> right away later on guys for viewer it okay so no need to get Missy Ula right over here just get the battle sphere and later on in the game you will be able to get Missy Ula for free so don't worry about that one you can farm it later on it's farmable guys so try to get your hands on the battle sphere and the uh, other uh, you know like this custom make suit right over here like let's say Nemato Day outsider is actually going to belong to Nia. Nia is a pretty good average character not one of the best out there and I think she's actually gonna fall off the tier list real sharply later on in the game so 
like I think it's not a really good uh, suggestion out here. Next is going to be the Steel Fortress, which actually belongs to Sumora. Also, not really that amazing character to be mentioning. And next is going to be the Beatdown Brawler that actually belongs to Dango Kobayashi. Well, yes, she is pretty great unit, but later on she's actually going to fall pretty fast as well. And uh, yeah, it may not be a really great investment to actually put your cash or let's say your 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 thoughts or let's say your investment <laughs> into this Beatdown Brawler right over here. And finally, the Dark Star. It belongs to Fabia. Fabia is pretty decent unit, pretty great unit. You can actually look forward to the Dark Star as well. In case somehow, if you already do have a Battle Sphere for your Snowy, then well, guess what, guys? Dark Star is also a pretty viable option in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, that's it. There we go, guys. The best option, or let's say the best pick from this particular six options right over here, is definitely going to be the Battle Sphere for your Snowy. Because she is such a great hybrid DPS support character, being able to provide a lot of buffs to the allies every 15 seconds for a total of 10 seconds duration including that lifestyle effect together with lots of damage boosting abilities so this is great and being able to uh, provide that one ally with the highest attack stat to completely ignore the defense of your opponent it's just too good guys so that's it finally this pack is totally worth it even for the free to play players you should be getting it right away can really enhance your early game progression by like a lot okay by a lot it's just too good dramatically improves your battle performance so yeah that's it that is it for today see you guys in the next video